the original snake oil might just have worked. It all started in the 1800s. While working on the Transcontinental Railroad, Chinese laborers used an oil made from the Chinese water snake that they believed would reduce the inflammation on their sore and tired muscles. Word spread of the healing oil. American salesmen looking to get rich made their own, but they used rattlesnake, which didn't have the same medicinal properties as the Chinese water snake. But when the salesmen added some alcohol and a little opium, folks couldn't get enough. The salesmen peddled their snake oil at vaudeville-style medicine shows. At the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, Clark Stanley, the rattlesnake king, took a live rattlesnake, sliced it open, and plunged it into boiling water to extract its oil. The crowd went wild. Little did they know, Stanley had stopped adding real snake to the snake oil he was selling. The number of medical cure-alls for sale grew, and ads started popping up in newspapers for countless other concoctions, claiming to treat everything from hair loss to skull fractures. But muckraker journalists were skeptical and began to report that snake oil and the other untested cure-alls caused addiction, overdoses, and deaths. In 1905, Collier's Magazine published a series of scathing exposés calling them the Great American Fraud. The public outcry that followed led to the passing of the Pure Food and Drug Act and the creation of the Food and Drug Administration to protect consumers from unsafe medication. But modern-day snake oil cures still exist, and you can visit ConsumerReports.org to learn more.